Congressman Dennis Kucinich of Ohio joins me live from Cleveland. I understand, Congressman, you're not happy about this at all. Well, it's not about whether I'm happy or not. I've been trying to uh, go through the Secretary of Defense office to meet with Private Manning to check on his condition. I don't take any position with respect to his guilt or innocence, but this is an American soldier who's held in an American prison, and he's been treated in a way that clearly violates his human rights, and this is being done, and it, apparently it's okay with the Pentagon. You have uh, made sure to point out the Army manual here, and it says, if used in conjunction with intelligence interrogation, prohibited actions include but are not limited to forcing the detainee to be naked perform sexual acts or pose in a sexual manner uh, reportedly what happened to private Manning was that for hours on end not just that he had to sleep naked but that when he was um, called to attention he had to stand at attention without any clothes on it, is there any way that the the military in your mind could have a good excuse for doing this? They've, they've said it absolutely did happen, that it happened because of, uh, again, situationally driven reasons. Well, it appears they're trying to break him. I mean, this is not defensible. There is no way, stretch of the imagination, that this could be allowed or that this should be happening in America. I'd like to see any other prisoner anywhere in this country who's being subjected to that where there wouldn't be cries of outrage by the public. Everyone's presumed innocent until proven guilty. And I just want to say one thing, if I had a chance to talk directly to Secretary Gates. He's at the end of his career, Secretary Gates. It would be a shame to have a blot on his uh, record which suggested that he suborned human rights violations. There will be consequences consequences under the law for Secretary Gates for continuing to be complicit in the way this soldier is being treated. And, and there are critics who say that there's a real delay here in even getting Manning into a legal proceeding. Are you concerned about that? Listen, anytime you uh, look at the way this thing has been handled, it's always been handled in ways that are irregular. Uh, the fact that he's kept in confinement 23 out of 24 hours a day, the fact that he's had to wait at least nine months before he, he knows what his charges is, uh, are, and then the fact that uh, there's been no definite day as to when he would, I don't, I don't, I'm not aware of a day that he's been set to go to trial. I mean, this whole thing has been handled in a way that's not been regular. And how about the video that, uh, rep that Mr. Manning is supposed to have been instrumental in releasing that shows all these people being killed uh, in, a, in a raid? Uh, and some of them were uh, innocent journalists and innocent civilians attacked by a, a helicopter gunship. No one's had to answer for that. I mean, you know, we have to start asking ourselves, why, aren't, why isn't our government leveling with us about people who are trying to uh, get the word out about what's happening? Again, I don't have any position on Mr. Manning's guilt or innocence, right. but the way he's being treated raises questions about the Pentagon and about Secretary Gates. Congressman Kucinich, I appreciate your time. I appreciate you taking the stand. Thank you.